Energy is a pretty important topic these days, and nuclear energy is one of the most controversial and potentially important parts of energy discussions. But it's something that most people just don't know very much about. So I thought it would be worth coming over here to MIT to talk to Professor Jacopo Bongiorno in the Nuclear Science and Engineering Department about nuclear energy, how it works, and how we can keep it safe. So this is MIT's nuclear reactor, right? This is the MIT nuclear reactor. It's a five megawatt machine. We just use it for research. You're not generating electricity with it. You're just using this to generate Neutrons. Neutrons. Radiation, basically, right. And you use that radiation for what kind of thing? Well, we use it for a variety of things. Uh, we, uh, neutrons have the interesting property of uh, being able to probe the microscopic uh, structure of matter, of materials, okay? So if you want to know, basically, where the atoms lie in, uh, in a lattice within, within, uh, within a material, you can use neutrons to identify what that lattice looks like. You can also look at things like vibrations of atoms within a material with, uh, with neutrons. So this is part of a nuclear reactor, right? This is the part that you would use to generate the heat to make the electricity ultimately. So what does this part do? Yes, Alan. So this is called a nuclear reactor fuel assembly. This is basically where the fuel is, where uranium is. Uh, uranium is the material that we use to uh, generate these little nuclear reactions that are called fission. And uh, out of fission, you get a lot of energy. So a nuclear reactor is effectively a heat source. Okay? And uh, what we do with that heat source is up to us. We try to convert it into electricity and then do something useful with it. So the, um, the uh, nuclear reaction takes place in a little pellet, which are accommodated within these tubes. And then that energy that, forms out, that, that shows up in the, in the form of heat has to be removed by a coolant. So imagine that you have a river of water that flows upward in these fuel assemblies that removes the heat. And it carries that heat to a, uh, uh, to a steam generator. In the steam generator, you generate some, some steam. And then the steam drives a turbine, basically a big wheel that spins. That turbine is connected to a, an electric generator. And that's how we get the electricity. A pellet of uranium dioxide, which is the fuel we use in a nuclear reactor, has the same energy content as one ton of coal, three barrels of oil, or 17,000 cubic feet of natural gas. So inside a nuclear reactor, fission is happening. It's, it, the word means breaking things apart, but what's actually going on inside well, the atoms? Well, it, the, the, the word is actually an accurate description of what happens. Uh, it, fission means breaking, and, and what's broken there is a heavy nucleus, and typically a uranium-235, an isotope 235 of, of uranium element that is um, bombarded with neutrons, and when it absorbs a neutron, uh, sometimes nothing happens, but most often what happens is that it splits. It splits in two, two halves, which are not identical, but in that, in, in, during that process there is a lot of energy that is released in the form of kinetic energy of these two fission fragments, of these two lighter nuclei that result from that, from that split. Also importantly, what's, uh, what's produced out of, uh, out of fission is a little bit more neutrons. And so you get a chain reaction because then you can use those neutrons to induce more fission. Okay, So you start with one neutron, you induce fission, you split, you get more neutrons out, and then you can use those neutrons on other uh, uranium-235 uh, nuclei to basically induce more fission, and the chain reaction goes on. Nuclear energy is pretty safe, but it's really hot stuff contained in a big building that we need to make sure that it stays in that building. What keeps it there. Yeah, so I can give you the uh, one minute uh, description of what safety, what nuclear safety is based on. It's based on two principles. The first is defense in depth, which means that there are multiple redundant barriers between radioactivity, which is the hazard, is what we're trying to, to keep contained, and the atmosphere or the environment. Okay, and those barriers are the, the fuel itself, then there is basically a system of piping that the coolant is in. They are both sealed tight, and then ultimately we have a containment. And the containment is there to prevent the release of radioactivity if something, if everything else goes wrong within, uh, within, within the system. The second important concept related to safety is engineer systems. We have a series of engineer systems that intervene to maintain uh, adequate cooling of the fuel. As you said, nuclear, nuclear fuel is pretty hot stuff and it has to be uh, maintain cool at all times, otherwise there is a potential for overheating and, and melting. So one of the things that we're doing here, we're looking at ways to make that cooling under accident scenarios even more effective. So if something goes wrong, you want that stuff to get 
cold as fast, fast as, as you as fast as possible. Exactly, because that minimizes the damage to the fuel itself, and therefore it minimizes the amount of radioactivity that comes out of the fuel. Okay. So then, if 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 you if everything goes well, even in an accident, then you could just clean everything out, start it up again, and have a working reactor later. Maybe not the next day, but yes, in principle, our reactors are designed such that they can they can restart. Uh, usually, this will entail. Uh, heavy maintenance and review of, of what happened and procedures and all of that but basically the plant is the plant is safe and can be and can be restarted well great thank you very much for telling us all about this thank you very much